they're British and if I can say so, so if I can say so, race. not only has it not well. got anything to do with race, but the bit that Miriam has not mentioned, which it has a very great deal to do with, is religion. This has a great deal to do with religion, and we have what not does? so far what, what discussed does? the religious aspect of this, because Islamic State calls itself Islamic State for a reason. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're checking out. Let's talk about your religion then. Douglas Murray silenced Muslim politicians with facts. Guys, let's go straight into this. Miriam, why do you say that it's a, a racial, there's a racial aspect to taking away somebody's citizenship if they're suspected to be an is Islamic extremist? Because where are you supposedly sending them back to? Let's take the most recent case of a uh, young man who is half, um, who's got, who's of Vietnamese origin, but who's a British citizen. This is the one we going know? through the Supreme Court. The Absolutely, appeal. he's mm -hmm. going through the Supreme Court at the moment. Uh, Britain wants to take away his citizenship. Uh, Viet Vietnam says he's got nothing to do with this. He's not a Vietnamese citizen as far as they concerned the only reason that we can consider taking away his citizenship is because we do not regard him no. as fully British no, and that I, is if a racialized concept if I could, if I could just correct that if I could, really, if I could just correct <laughs> that's that correct me, the problem about, uh, about uh, what Miriam's just said among other things is you can do the experiment thought experiment another way let's say um, a, a pseudo state was set up in another country in the world it's not and a state it, uh, I, I know it's not a state you know it's not a state they think they're a state they call themselves a state and a lot of people who burn their passports or go over to fight for them, believe they are a state. Let's pretend another pseudo-state was set up from any other religious or other kind of background. If people from Britain were going to that state of any background or any origin and they were cutting off people's heads and raping women and children and so on, I think this country would take a rather tough stance about it. And I think, among other things, one of the things we would look at was withdrawal of passports, among other things. If you say you are signed up to this uh, appalling state, Mi then maybe we take you at your word. Miriam's case is there is a racial element. Oh, but there should not be. No, be. And you I, 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 if I but I think so something Miriam said that uh, we really must come back on is that somebody is not considered fully British. Absolutely. You are either British or you're not. Well, then you no can't withdraw somebody's and, citizenship. And They're it, British and if citizens, I can so say we have so. to deal with If I can say so, race. not only has it not well. got anything to do with race, but the bit that Miriam has not mentioned, which it has a very great deal to do with, is religion. Yes. This has a great deal to do with religion, and we have what not does? so far what, what discussed does? the religious aspect of this, because Islamic State calls itself Islamic State for a reason. They follow certain principles, misguided in your opinion, misguided in my opinion, but certain principles that they say they derive from Islam. All right, let Mary any discussion that. of this has to take them at their let word to that. some extent. Well, I mean, I, I think it's very interesting that we would sort of try and essentialize Islamic State. They're very much like any cult or, uh, if you like, I, I, I think you can, you can look, look at their if origins. Finish, if, you, if you compare them to any sort of cult or gang, there are usually uh, some similarities with the broader concept from which they're, they're derived. So you get cults that are derived from Christianity. Sure. Very similarly, you would say that Daesh or Islamic State is derived from um, Islam, Islam in some way. Yeah. Uh, but I think the problem is to take things at face value yeah, and to certainly to corroborate their narrative by no, accepting their view that I'm it is a state and that Miriam, they have I'm the legitimacy to call out. themselves it, Islamic. It, it, it's uh, problematic. The, the WACO group in Waco uh, some years ago, everyone was interested in the religious claims they were making when they decided to become this millenarium crazy cult. I, uh, can if I, I, I can just finish. Yeah. This, is a, this is a crucial thing we cannot avoid. I know it's uncomfortable, I know we want to keep no, no, avoiding it's not, it's not it, but the religious sure. aspect, think, which Miriam didn't want to talk about, is no, an a I, vital if I thought part it was, of this discussion. If I and it's it reliant upon Mus Muslims all right. of all kinds to if, take if that on and tackle it. If I thought it was vital, Douglas, it. I absolutely would bring it back. But I think what's important is when you look at, for example, these rehabilitation programs, because that's what we're talking about here, is how to deal most effectively with the threat, is that we are talking about using methods that have been shown to be effective in other contexts and with other groups. Yeah, and and those are, can I, just, can I just finish? They are, they are methods that have been used in criminology and criminal studies oh. for decades and they've got nothing to do with Islam they just happen no. to okay. be effective we're gonna, we're gonna but have ISIS to let you does have this. a lot to do with Islam we're so. going to have guys Douglas Murray did not hold back like I won't really blame the UK government for actually trying to kick him out because think about it this nigga was killing people outside and whoa he's coming back here to like act as our citizen now but like he went to them killing people like I really won't blame them for trying to take away his citizenship because you don't really want to be affiliated with that kind of person who is going outside the country to kill people. Like, who is part of a cult? A religious cult, to be precise. And I honestly believe that Douglas Murray is actually making us to see the fact that 
you still don't understand the reason why you care doing this. You still don't understand the reason why we are doing this. Like, it does not make sense for you to actually be supporting someone that is killing people. Even if she's not supporting him, you actually advocating that his citizenship should not be withdrawn shows that they are supporting him in a way. But I'll be honest, like, I honestly believe that when you see someone practicing something like this, killing people, raping women, raping children, like, I really don't think a country should be affiliated with this kind of person. Like, kick him out. But guys, tell me what you think about this. Like, let your opinion win. Like, tell me what you think about this. Drop in the comment section and give your reasons. Like, let's read and debate in the comment section. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.